How to create a data set. Four ways to create a data set. The data set can be created using any of the below four methods. One, create a data set from a sequence of elements. Two, create a data set from a sequence of case classes. Three, create a data set from a RDD. Four, create a data set from data frame. One, create a data set from a sequence of elements. Data set can be created from a sequence of elements using TODS method. For example, let's say we have a number sequence variable containing elements 1 to 5. I am applying 2DS method on the number sequence. This should give us a data set. Let's check if the data set is created by issuing show actions on the data set. Here we can see that the data set has been created successfully. 2. Create a data set from a sequence of case classes. Now let's see how we can create a data set from a sequence of case classes using 2DS method. For example, let's say we have a case class called employee with two fields, name and age in it. I am creating a sequence with three employees in it. Val employee sequence equals sequence off three employees. Next, I'm going to apply 2DS method on employee sequence. This creates a data set called employee DS. We can check it out by using the show action on the data set. Here you go. Employee DS data set has been created successfully. Three, create a data set from a RDD. I'm going to create a RDD using parallelize method of Spark Context. This creates an RDD that has two elements in it. Let me apply 2DS method on this RDD. This should have created a data set. Let's check if the data set is created by issuing show action on the data set. The data set is created successfully from a RDD. 4. Create a data set from data frame. I am creating a case class called person with two fields in it, name and age. Then I'm creating a sequence with three persons' objects in it. Next, I am creating a RDD from a sequence of objects. I am passing the sequence object to the parallelize method of Spark Context. Then I'm creating a data frame from the RDD using 2DF method. So now we have a data frame. Let's convert this into data set using as method. df dot as the schema. This should give us a data set. Let's check if the data set is created by issuing show action on the data set. Here we can see that the data set has been created successfully. To summarize, data sets can be created either from a sequence of elements, or from a sequence of case classes, or from a RDD, or from a data frame. In the next video, let's look at the difference between RDD, data frame, and data set, which is one of the most common interview questions. For more videos, visit our website, bigdataelearning.com courses.